Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Democrats hoping strong turnout spurs them in Deep Red Texas. Democrats in Deep Red Texas kicked off the nation's 2018 midterm primary elections Tuesday with a surge in turnout, dozens of women seeking office and early signs of midterm anger toward President Donald Trump. The biggest question as polls closed was whether Texas is just the start of what's to come nationwide. Energized Democrats in Texas appeared poised to show up for a midterm primary in numbers not seen in more than a decade, despite the long odds of ousting Republican U.S. Senate. Ted Cruz in November and other statewide office holders. Cruz and his Democratic challenger, U.S. Rep. Beto O'Rourke, easily clinched their party nominations for the Senate, while several congressional races packed with candidates were expected to head to May runoffs. Republican Gov. Greg Abbott also cruised to his party's nomination for re-election. But in an uneasy sign for the GOP with control of Congress on the line this fall, Democrats turned out in force in Texas one of the safest turfs for Republicans, who've dominated the nation's biggest conservative state for a quarter century. College students waited more than an hour to vote in liberal Austin, far-flung rural counties offered Democratic candidates for the first time in years and a tide of anti-Trump activism helped propel nearly 50 women to make a run for Congress. Many were running in a record eight open congressional races this year in Texas two of which are up for grabs after longtime GOP incumbents abandoned plans for re-election amid scandal. The surge of Democratic voters included some former Republicans switching this cycle, including 61-year-old Sarah Chiado of Dallas, who said she changed parties after Trump was elected. I hope that our political environment changes. I'm not happy with it today, she said after voting at a Dallas church. I find it very divisive and dividing of many people and negative. So I'm looking to vote for people who are positive who care about all. Democratic early voting across Texas' 15 most populous counties more than doubled that of the last non-presidential cycle in 2014, while the number of Republican early ballots cast increased only slightly. Total Democratic early votes exceeded Republican ones roughly 465,000 to 420,000, though those figures combined accounted for less than 9% of the state's total registered voters. Still, Democrats haven't won any of Texas 29.